But here are five reasons I bought sheep instead of silver, and I am extremely glad I did so. Land, livestock, and precious metals are historically the most durable forms of wealth. We are approaching a time when the US dollar will no longer be a valid measurement of wealth. For those with foresight, there are opportunities to invest in order to hedge what we have been given. In 2020, I was debt free with six months of living expenses behind me and $11,000 to reinvest after all was said and done. At the same point in time, I was watching what the government was doing in 2020. Within just three months, they had issued $3 trillion worth of stimulus. It did not at that point in time take a genius to realize that was not free money. It was a dilution of existing wealth. But I realized it was a dilution only for those who continued to store their money in the form of the US dollar. I realized I had a very short window to diversify, reinvest that capital, and escape, at least in a small part, the fate of losing the value of that money through inflation that three years later we do have the first hand look at. While it was not a lot, I began to search out ways to invest that $11,000. Invest in a way that would not only hedge its value, but increase it. And after praying for the eyes to see an undervalued asset, I was irresistibly led to agriculture. Long story short, I took that $11,000 and I did not invest it in precious metals, the stock market, or the tech industry, but I bought sheep. And by the way here, if you are actually watching this video and looking at sheep as a viable means of hedging wealth, please know that if every single sheep on your pasture dies, you lose all of your money. In fact, as beginner sheep farmers, this was kind of almost what happened to us. I created a video down below that's going to talk to you about some of the mistakes we made up front that almost cost us all of our money instead of earning us any at all. But here are five reasons I bought sheep instead of silver, and I am extremely glad I did so. Number one, sheep are a dynamic asset. Silver, gold, and precious metals are static. What this means is that in addition to increasing and cycling in value as silver and precious metals do, sheep reproduce and they do so at a rapid rate. If you put two sheep together in respective and necessary genders, you're going to have four sheep next year, six sheep the year after, etc., etc. If you put two pieces of gold and silver together, you will not have that dynamic replication. Number two is that nearly every piece of precious metal you purchase is reported to the government through the brokering agency. Now, the reason this is significant is because 90 years ago in the Great Depression of 1933, President Franklin D. Roosevelt signed an executive order that essentially made it illegal to own gold of any significant value. On May 1st, 1933, all gold coins, gold bullion, and gold certificates were required to be turned into the federal government in exchange for US dollars. By May 9th, $700 million worth of gold was turned in, which is $16.3 billion in 2023's money. To think that we are past such executive orders in 2023 may not be wise. Number three, in times of true economic crisis, bartering does become a thing again. Practically speaking, 10 sheep are far more barterable than one piece of gold. Number four, sheep are among the most historically durable forms of measuring wealth. If we are even to go back to ancient biblical history, the wealth of the most prosperous men was first measured in terms of sheep, followed by other livestock and sometimes precious metals. It is important to understand that many of the things we use to hedge our wealth or measure our wealth in 2023 did not even exist 100 or 200 years ago. They are blips on the radar of history and they are very fragile investment options. Ultimately, I believe that we will revert to historically durable forms of wealth as a means of measuring wealth storing it and hedging it for those who are wise enough to see in the distance and do so. Reason number five, soil is quite possibly the most undervalued asset we have today. Soil health is a barrier between a nation and starvation and civilizations historically have risen and fallen in relation to the soil's capacity to produce a viable food source. Sheep well managed are a tool to increase soil health, compounding the wealth building component of your investment should the land you are grazing belong to you. Since I made this personal decision three years Years ago, some of the industry's leading investors have begun pushing agricultural ETFs, and there is rumor that the BRICS nations, which are the eastern nations of the world, are formulating plans to launch the concept of an alternative currency at their August summit. This alternative currency is rumored to be backed by gold, rare earth elements, and soil. While this alternative currency is still just a theory, the fact that soil is actually listed among precious metals and rare earth elements further legitimizes its value as a true commodity. Since 2020 alone, the cumulative rate of inflation has been 15.1%, meaning that if I were to have left that $11,000 in the bank, it would only have 9,500 worth of buying power today. Instead, 
I put that $11,000 to work, and I myself got to work. That flock of sheep that I bought has doubled in size, and I have consistent income through the sale of my lambs. Sheep instead of silver will not be everyone's answer. In fact, you're probably watching this, you probably own sheep to some extent, and you're sitting there saying this is not at all a passive investment. And that is exactly true. It takes work, it takes time, and it sometimes takes more work and time than is actually fun. A lot of you are also going to be looking at me saying, well, what about both? And I will say, amen, diversity is my anthem, but I went for sheep first. And this video is ultimately not to tell you what to do. This video is to tell you what I have done and why I have done it. I'm convinced that we could see some really interesting things with respect to the US dollar and its value. We are at a critical time window when we have the opportunity to diversify. I'm going to use the next three to five videos upcoming to really outline and explain exactly why. And when they're available, you'll see them right here. Until then, diversify and keep an eye on your flock.